That video on Benjamin Academics today's video four on calculation of price elasticity of demand and how to determine an equilibrium price in the market. Looking at the question on the board, we say the following table gives information on the sugar market in a given country. That's the question as a whole. And they give a price per kilogram in France FT, and then the quantity demanded per month in, in thousand kilograms. And the quantity supply per month is thousands in kilograms. Then the question then says, what is the equilibrium price in this market? In our subsequent videos or in our previous video, I try to demonstrate that the equilibrium price is where the quantity demanded and the quantity supply is equal. Now the equilibrium price is 125. Why is the equilibrium price 125? Because the quantity demanded is 50, the quantity supply is 50. This therefore expects to offer the equilibrium price. The equilibrium price states that the quantity demanded is equal to what the quantity supply. So the equilibrium price is 125. We have answered this question. So the equilibrium price is 125 and the equilibrium quantity is 50. Now, they say, Suppose the government imposed a maximum price of 180 francs CFA. That is 180 in terms of kilograms, we are talking about 180,000. Now, talking about the government now imposed a price of 180, then now the first stop I want to say, how many kilograms of sugar will this government? have to buy as part of this policy. Now, when we look at the question, it has asked us for us to calculate. We need to normally calculate to know how many kilograms of sugar with the government will buy. Now, the government has um, imposed a, a, a price of what? 180. Now, it, um, the quantity demanded is what? It's, um, the quantity, talking about quantity, the quantity demanded, the quantity demanded GT is um, 35, and the quantity supplied, that's quantity supplied SS is 50. Um, quantity supplied is 58. Now, we are talking about them in thousands. Talking about them in thousands. Now, the government has imposed a, a price. How much? Is the government likely to pay? Now we have to now subtract 58,000 minus 35,000. And when we subtract, the two of them is going to give us um, 58 minus this is going to give us 23,000. So it shows that on the question, how many kilograms of sugar will the government have to buy as part of this policy? You have to subtract this because you have to impose. So the quantity demanded was um, 35 and 35,000 and the quantity supply was 58. Because the government has imposed, it, it, it imposed, we have to now, the government has to buy the excess. So we have subtract from what it has been supplied from what it has been demanded. And then we are back up 23. So the government have to buy what? 23. Now, in the next question, it was asked that how much will this operation cost the government? Now, we have to calculate the operation with the, the, um, the, the price which the government has um, imposed. Now, since as what has been left out is um, um, is um, 23,000 and the price of which the government imposed was what? 180. So we multiply it with 180. So 23,000 times 180 is what we are going to get. So this zero will come this way in our mathematical terms. Um, so 123,000, we add this zero, then we take 18. We have 18 here. So looking at this, we have 18 into itself. Um, 18 into itself. Yeah, yeah. So um, let's just let's just see something. Let's take um something 
and when we multiply it, it's going to give us, um, using our calculator, when we multiply it, it's going to give us 1, um, 4, let me calculate it back with my calculator, um, it's going to give me, yeah, 100 and 414,000. That's what it gives me when you multiply um, two, uh, 23 times 180. It's going to give me 44,000. So when you have multiplied it on that manner and you now um, take the next step and you look at the question next. The next question says, what problems are mostly likely to arise from the fixed maximum price? From the fixed maximum price for sugar at 100 per kilogram. Now, this is the maximum price. First of all, let me just explain or enlighten you on what maximum price and minimum price is. Mani maximum price is a price set below the equilibrium price, while the, max the minimum price is a price set above the um, equilibrium price. So what will likely to affect from the fixed maximum price? There will be shortage. There will be shortage. And also there will be increase in price of goods and services. There will be black marketing. And there will be also what? It will lead to cost demand for inflation. Just to enlighten you on demand for inflation is a steady increase in the general price of goods and services caused by excess demand over supply. So that's what he's going to say to this um, question. So if you have the type of question of this manner, you, you know that that is the way you need to solve it. Or, they might change the, the numbers, but if the question is being set this way, this is the way you need to solve it. Thank you very much, viewers, for watching our videos on Benjamin Academics. We hope to see you in our next video. We need to look at what you think about our video on the comment box. If you like to get more of our video, you can press the subscription button and you can share our video as well as liking our video. See you.